Yo, we dodged a real bullet, y'all, because this dude was this close, this close to being called Cotton Swab. What's going on, everybody? It's the granddad of granddad, Wooly, and you are here again for another edition of CDK Studies. Today, we're going to the book of talking about one of my favorite artists of all time. He is a member of one of the most legendary hip-hop crews of all time as well, a tribe called Quest. But we're talking about him on a solo tip. We're talking about the one, the only, Kamal, the abstract himself, Q-Tip. So we're going to go open the book right here and talk about one of my favorite albums and my only physical own album from Q-Tip because the thing is, Q-Tip only dropped like three albums, y'all. This nigga's been, I don't know, he been in the game for like 20 plus years. He was solo for 10 plus years and the nigga only dropped three albums and one of them wasn't even a rap album. I mean, it had rap in it, but it really wasn't like a hip hop album. It was some, some abstract shit. That's why he calls himself the abstract. But we're gonna talk about the album that I do own and also talk a little bit about his first album, which I do not fucking own. It was 99, Blair Witch shit was going on. I wasn't about that life at the time, but I did know about a little bit of something. But nine years later, the nigga finally decided to drop another album, and I was on that shit. I wasn't slacking, and I got it right here, and I'm talking about the one, the only, the Renaissance. And this shit dropped back in 2008, and this is my only physical own Q-Tip album, like I said, but this has got to be my favorite Q-Tip album as well, because like I bought the shit, but it's pretty damn dope. It's got 13 tracks on here, and it's mostly produced by Q-Tip, but it's also got a couple tracks produced by Jay Dilla. And I gotta say that this album is fan-fucking-tastic, y'all. I mean, I like the production on here. Q-Tip was really on point. It had a real like old-school throwback soulful feel to it, but it didn't feel dated at all. It was really like, like a blend between new and old, and Q-Tip didn't lose a fucking step on the rapping tip. This nigga was on point. Had a lot of crazy tracks on here, like Johnny is Dead, Getting Up, Won't Trade, Official, You, Man, Woman, Boogie, uh, fucking Move. Like, the whole goddamn album's pretty goddamn dope. I gotta say, like, this whole thing is a front to back listen. It's really focused, really well just done, produce wise. And Q Tip was on point. And the features on here were on point, too. We had a lot of singing niggas. I don't think it was any rapping niggas. It was just a whole bunch of singing niggas on here. But he had Nora Jones, Raphael Sadiq, D'Angelo was also on this motherfucker, as well as Amanda Diva. And I gotta say, like, this album is just fucking dope. I mean, like, this really showed that even after, like, 10 years of almost 10 years of Q Tip not doing a goddamn thing, he can come back and drop a crazy fucking album. I think this album got nominated for a Grammy. It was that goddamn good. And it was one of my favorite albums in 2008. I was playing this shit like all goddamn time. Actually, let me tell you a little story time about that, y'all. So like, I guess I was playing this album all the goddamn time. And I remember I was living with my homeboy, Jay. We was, we was roommates and I had copped this album. And I was playing this album so goddamn much. This nigga was like, yo, you play the same fucking album all goddamn day. What the fuck are you listening to? Because he wasn't up on Q-Tip. So I let him listen to it. And at first he was like, it's cool. But literally like a week later, he was like, yo, nigga, that Q-Tip shit kind of fire. Can I, can I burn it? I'm like, no, nigga, you can't burn my Q-Tip. I think he could. I think I let him burn. I don't know. But he was on to this shit after a while. So it wasn't just me, goddammit. But this album was fucking fire. And if you have not heard of Q-Tip The Renaissance, I gotta say this is probably his best album to me personally. Like, I think the production is dope. Q-Tip's rapping is on point, and I think it probably wasn't as commercially successful as his first album, but critically, I think this album was a lot better musically and just a whole fucking, just, it's just doper to me. But, like, I'm gonna go ahead and talk about the first album, because I don't own the physical, but after listening to this album, I did go back and listen to it, and his first album, of course, was called Amplified, and that shit was fucking dope as hell, too. I mean, like, yo, it was his first album, the 1999, that shit dropped. I was a little, it was before my time, but I did hear the singles that came out, like vibrant thing and breathing stop and that uh, that video for breathing stop if you ain't seen that shit good lord good <sighs> q-tip you knew how to pick them i'm just saying but anyway just like the renaissance this album was produced completely by jay dilla and q-tip and it was really fucking dope they had tracks like wait up uh moving with you uh breathing stop of course and vibrant thing uh nt where buster rounds was wilding the fuck out and he left the goddamn booth because he was pissed off about other rappers i don't know he just got mad and left everybody was laughing but i don't think buster rounds said he was really legit mad on that motherfucker and also had other features from jessica rivera and corn but it really wasn't that many features on here but this album was commercially successful because of that two big hits with vibrant thing and breathing stop i think the album actually went gold so it was a really good job for q-tip out the gate but then some shit happened he tried to put out Kamal the Abstract, the album which actually came after the Renaissance, but it was made before then. But apparently the label was like, nah, nigga, this is some different shit. You shelving this shit. No, you gave us that shit on Amplified. Now you're gonna try to sing and do some folky blues, is that jazz shit? Fuck that nigga, we shelving you. And then he tried another album called Open, and that shit got shelved. And he was like, fuck this shit, nigga. I'm not rapping no more. And then he came back finally with the Renaissance. And then a year later, he finally was able to put out 
Kamal in the Abstract. And I listened to that shit. I got it on the digital tip. It's a cool album. I like his rap albums better than Kamal in the Abstract, but I do appreciate Q-Tip trying something different and new, but I still find Amplified and the Renaissance more enjoyable. But he did come back on the rap tip with Busta Rhymes in 2013, I believe, with the mixtape, the Abstract and the Dragon. And that shit was fucking dope. That shit was crazy. Check that shit out if you have not checked that out. I think I mentioned it in the Busta Rhymes case study. But I'm mentioning this shit again because it's fucking dope. And I hear he's working on his fourth album, finally, The Last Zulu. So hopefully we get that shit soon because that's going to be fucking dope. And like, Q-Tip's just a goddamn legend. Both with Trap and on the solo tip, I just wish he would drop more solo shit more often. But that's going to do it for today's CDK studies, y'all. Hope you enjoyed me talking about Q-Tip, my only physical own album. But I did give you a little insight on his other shit as well because I do know about Q-Tip. I'm a fan of his work. I like his shit. He's a dope producer as well as a dope MC. And I can't wait till he drops his next shit. I know it's few and far between, but when he does drop, I know it's some good shit. And just thank God this nigga didn't decide to call himself Cotton Swap because... Nigga, we wouldn't be having this video or this discussion whatsoever because I'm not fucking with a nigga called Cotton Swap. Q-Tip was the right move, nigga. Kamal, you made the right choice. Q-Tip, not Cotton Swap. Previous video is on the side, some fucking where you know I do as well as my latest single. Check that out, show us some love. And as always, Twitter, Facebook, SoundCloud, Instagram. Links in the description below. And subscribe. Button on the screen. Button below. CDK studies twice a week as well as Wooly Reviews. Check that shit out. And the gaming channel. And if you're indie, anything you want your shit spotlighted, info below. And I got nothing more to say. So until next time, I take my leave. Granddaughter, Q-Tip, the CDK study. The motherfucker's a legend and he made the right move with the name and we just need more albums from you, nigga. You take 10 years between albums, nigga. We can't wait that long, nigga. You need to... Hurry the fuck up. The last Zulu better not be the last album. I bet it is, that nigga. Give us something, Q-Tip. I'm out of here.